The 10 Causes of Air Hunger Number 10. Respiratory Infections Respiratory infections, such as pneumonia and bronchitis, are common causes of air hunger. These infections typically involve the inflammation of the airways and lung tissue, leading to a reduction in the lung's ability to efficiently exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. In pneumonia, the air sacs in the lungs may fill with fluid or pus, making it harder for oxygen to reach the bloodstream. Bronchitis, on the other hand, involves inflammation of the bronchial tubes, leading to increased mucus production and narrowed airways. Number 9. Asthma. Asthma, a chronic respiratory condition, is a significant contributor to the sensation of air hunger. It is characterized by inflammation of the airways, increased mucus production, and bronchoconstriction, leading to episodes of wheezing, chest tightness, and dyspnea. Triggers for asthma symptoms can vary and may include exposure to allergens, respiratory infections, exercise, or environmental irritants. Number 8. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD. Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease, COPD, encompassing conditions like chronic bronchitis and emphysema, is a leading cause of persistent air hunger. In COPD, Prolonged exposure to irritants, often cigarette smoke, damages the airways and lung tissue, resulting in chronic inflammation and irreversible airflow obstruction. The obstructed airways make it difficult for the lungs to expel air effectively, leading to a feeling of breathlessness. Number 7. Heart failure. Heart failure is a common cause of air hunger, particularly when the heart is unable to pump blood efficiently. In heart failure, the heart's weakened pumping ability can lead to a backlog of fluid in the lungs, a condition known as pulmonary edema. This accumulation of fluid in the lung tissues impairs oxygen exchange and gives rise to the sensation of breathlessness. The severity of dyspnea in heart failure can vary, occurring both at rest and during physical activity. Number 6. Pulmonary Embolism Pulmonary embolism, a sudden blockage in one of the pulmonary arteries in the lungs, is a critical cause of acute and severe dyspnea, typically resulting from a blood clot that travels from the legs or other parts of the body. A pulmonary embolism can obstruct blood flow to the lungs, preventing adequate oxygenation. Alongside air hunger, individuals with a pulmonary embolism may experience chest pain, rapid heart rate, and coughing up blood. Number 5. Interstitial lung disease, ILD. Interstitial lung disease, ILD, comprises a group of disorders characterized by inflammation and scarring of the lung tissue, leading to progressive lung stiffness and reduced capacity for oxygen exchange. The fibrotic changes in the interstitium, the space between the air sacs, impair the lung's ability to expand and contract effectively, contributing to the sensation of air hunger. ILD can be caused by various factors, including exposure to environmental toxins, autoimmune diseases, and certain medications. The symptoms of ILD often develop gradually and may include persistent cough, fatigue, and chest discomfort in addition to dyspnea. Number 4. Anemia. Anemia, characterized by a low level of red blood cells or hemoglobin, can contribute to air hunger due to reduced oxygen carrying capacity in the bloodstream. Hemoglobin is responsible for binding and transporting oxygen from the lungs to the body's tissues. When the blood lacks an adequate amount of hemoglobin, tissues receive less oxygen, leading to dyspnea. Anemia can result from various causes, including nutritional deficiencies, such as iron, vitamin B12, or folate deficiency, chronic diseases, and certain medications. Symptoms of anemia often include fatigue, weakness, and pale skin in addition to difficulty breathing. Number 3. Obesity. Obesity can contribute to air hunger, particularly during physical exertion, due to the additional strain on the respiratory system. Excess body weight can lead to reduced lung capacity and increased effort required for breathing. 
Obesity is associated with various respiratory issues, such as decreased lung function, increased inflammation, and a higher risk of conditions like sleep apnea, which further exacerbates breathing difficulties. Additionally, fat deposits around the chest and abdomen can limit the diaphragm's movement, making it more challenging for the lungs to expand fully. Number 2. Anxiety and Panic Disorders Anxiety and panic disorders can contribute significantly to the sensation of air hunger. During periods of heightened anxiety or panic attacks, individuals may experience rapid breathing, hyperventilation, chest tightness, and a feeling of not getting enough air, even when oxygen levels are within the normal range. These symptoms can mimic those of respiratory conditions, leading to a heightened sense of breathlessness. The physiological response to anxiety involves the activation of the sympathetic nervous system, which can affect respiratory patterns. Number 1. Severe Allergic Reactions Severe allergic reactions, especially anaphylaxis, can lead to a rapid and intense onset of air hunger. Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction that can cause the airways to swell, leading to a condition known as angioedema, which restricts airflow. In addition to air hunger, individuals experiencing anaphylaxis may exhibit symptoms such as swelling of the face and throat, hives, low blood pressure, and difficulty swallowing. The trigger for anaphylaxis can vary and may include foods, insect stings, medications, or other allergens. In conclusion, understanding the various causes of air hunger or difficulty breathing is crucial for recognizing the underlying health issues that may be at play. From respiratory infections and chronic conditions like asthma and COPD to heart failure, pulmonary embolism, and environmental factors, a diverse range of factors can contribute to this distressing sensation. Identifying the specific cause is key to effective management and treatment. If you or someone you know is experiencing persistent difficulty breathing, it's essential to seek prompt medical attention for a thorough evaluation and personalized care plan. Whether it's a respiratory condition, heart issue, or another health concern, early intervention can make a significant difference. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more health-related content. And as always, consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice tailored to your unique situation. Thanks for watching, and take care of your respiratory health.